Hi. It's your buddy Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, trying to keep his voice together for you. I'm back from Christmas Expo 2021 in the beautifully hot Las Vegas. While being there, Xlights 2021.22, actually .21 was released, and I wasn't about to jump to that. Well, I've got lesson plans and I'm teaching all these classes in the two day X Lights class on that Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm not gonna jump to 21 out of curiosity. So of course I waited till I got home, which was uh, late yesterday. And, and today I've had time to catch up and download it, take a peek under the hood. And there are a couple of cool little nuggets here I wanna share with you. And if you were in the class, you will know we spent a great deal of time working in the area of sequencing. I'll just go to animation here. Sure, I wow, that was interesting. Just done. And we'll take a look. Uh, we, we, we discussed in great detail display elements and we discussed this whole master view and other views and what to use and when not to use it. And if that wasn't enough on Tuesday and Wednesday, our good buddy, Eric Schultz, uh, had his own class on demystifying what the heck is all this? What, why do you use this? When do you use this? And, and really, how does it work? And he had a fantastic class. I heard nothing but raving reviews about people going, you know, for the first time, I think I understand what all of this is. And for the folks that were in my class, you understood some of the shortcuts and some of the comfort features x -Lights has created for us and getting these all in these orders so you don't have to manually really move these things around a lot. So that's great. So we talked a lot at Expo about some of the convenience features that x -Lights has been giving us this year, you know, to the point where, you know, they're practically chewing a food for us, right? Well, there's a couple of them on here I think that are very, very interesting. And I want to highlight these. Uh, one is from Keith and one is from Scott. Keith has added the ability to save a default camera view for the layout panel, which is used when X Lights opens. So let's look at that really quick because I think this is cool. It, uh, uh, very often when I open up X Lights, this is sort of just uh, turned and put over here about like this or whatever. And I always have to come in here and sort of straighten it up and size it and kind of get it where I want it. And, and then I'm good to go. Uh, not anymore. When you get this where you want it, as you see here, this is perfect for me. You can right click, set current viewpoint as default. This way, when you close out of X lights and come back into it, it'll be this very view. So we'll come right back into this on 2021.22. And, and as you know, I didn't say anything about 2021.21 because they quickly moved from that to 22, a matter of days. And we'll go to the layout and bada boom, bada bang, there it is. Fantastic. Now mine's gonna be a little bit different because when I make these videos for you folks, I do these in 1080 by 1920. Uh, when I'm working in this, I'm working at 4K, so I get a little more screen space for myself. All right, so that's that one. Easy peasy, much appreciated. This next one comes from Scott. He has added default new sequence view to preferences. And I thought, well, heck, this is really cool. I mean, how many times do we import a sequence or create a new animation? We choose this and then we go, whoa, 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 whoa. Ron taught us that we got to click on this. Got to click on here and change it to main sequence view. And you go done. And we have our main sequence view, all this. And if you took Eric Schultz's class, you would have learned that the main sequence view is nothing more than the master view. It's always a master view. x -Lights only really uses a master view. You just have to tell that main sequence view that it's now the master view. Cool, good enough. So that could be one less thing we have to worry about. So how do we get to that? So let's get out of here. Let's close the sequence. But now if you go to preferences and you click on sequences, you'll see that there's a brand new little item here called default view for new sequences. You go in here and you choose the view you most work with. So if you're just using a whole bunch of extreme sequences during a mapping uh, palooza, then click on this and click okay. Now when we create a new sequence, we'll go here, we'll go animation. Uh, hmm, this is sort of interesting. 
I'm wondering if this is a bug. Let me cancel out of here. And you'll see here that that says main sequence view. I'm going to click don't create sequence. New sequence. Animation. I'm not so sure this is supposed to be showing up. Uh, I would think that this should be uh, 40 frames per second if that is what I want. And it won't let me do that. Let's see what happens here. Oh, the other way, other way, other way. There we go. 25, of course, 40 frames. Okay, uh, I'm not really sure why it's asking us to dial this in, but uh, let's just go with it. The nice thing is, I did not have to choose a view from the drop down. It is automatically putting it in there because we told it in preferences, uh, make that the standard and default from here until I change it. All right, and you can always override it by going back to something else. And there you have it, click done. And we have our main sequence view, which I have trained to be the master view and there we go i hope this has been helpful you guys have a wonderful week uh keep busy get those controllers tested get them ordered and uh you know get your pixels if you don't have your pixels yet you better get your pixels gotta go